Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode of Pikmin. Previously, we got two out of the three ship parts I wanted to collect in the Forest of Hope. Today, we're going to be going back into the Forest of Hope to collect the final ship part, do a bit of Pikmin grinding, and just complete the entirety of the Forest of Hope. But today, our game plan is just to collect the final one. As you saw previously, we opened up a way with blue Pikmin to gather the, uh, the ship part. But instead of... Yeah, instead of doing that, I'm going to grab 100 reds. Yeah, I'm going to grab 100 reds. Not for the fight, but to deal with the bull board that's actually over there. Because... Pikmin AI being Pikmin AI, they don't take the uh, the ship part through the water, even if it's blue Pikmin. They take the shortest path, which actually is the shortest path, the ledge, but they walk past this uh, this bull borb. So I'd rather defeat him just so the Pikmin don't uh, die. So now that he's gone, we can just give this to the Reds and we can just move on with what we got to do <sighs> so day 14 and we're almost halfway through the game guys not through ship parts that was god's way away but we're actually half almost halfway there through the time limit of this game 15 days would be the halfway limit for um yeah would be the halfway limit for uh normal playthrough and uh yeah, honestly, I'm very surprised that we have gotten a decent amount of luck in this one, even though I think I, I feel like I lost more Pikmin in this recording than the previous one. But that's just me. So let's get all out all 100 blues. Um, if any of them go to the grass, that'd be great because we, we're going to need a bit for uh, we're going to be we're going to need a bit of neck dude for uh, where we're going to go to. That's a lot of Pikmin on that. Also, one other thing that I've just been doing so far with the, uh, just like with like recording, editing and stuff like that is that I've been still doing the Pokedex thing. Like as of today's recording, some of the thing I've been doing was just the uh, Pokedex things that you guys have been watching in Pokemon Coliseum. Um, it's not bad. I've just been doing a couple more edits of it before I've been actually sitting down to record it. Because as you guys have been, I, guess, I think you guys should know at this point, I record these in advance, quote unquote. And uh, I get to talk about like the things I do, but um, the, the Pokedex is more like a, uh, not a, it's like a little personal thing for me because uh, I'm trying to see if I can actually make it work, make it look appealing and actually make it informative because it is a Pokemon uh, playthrough, and the only thing that I didn't want to account for, and you guys have probably seen, were stats and evolution. Because it's not that I know you guys have played Pokemon games. It's more in the sense that in Colosseum, perhaps, in at least, you don't need to preoccupy yourself with evolutions because the game starts you at mid mid twenties and later on through the game, it gets ex uh, a little higher and higher in levels as you've been watching. So I didn't want to like waste myself with some evolutions. If there were some evolutions or Pokemon with evolutions, I would have just said them and like made a little note on the side as well. But for now, I hope you guys have been enjoying those Pokedex things. All right, here's another armor cannon level. Another fight with the armor cannon beetle, which is really cool. So, the red, the blue pigment are not going to do as much damage as the red, but we're going to do a lot of damage to the back because it is good. Get out of the way. Stop attacking his leg. Pigment AI in general, if you're near an enemy that they can grab on, so either the armor cannon beetle or a different beat animal or different, um, monster a uh, creature we didn't see that's only uh there for the uh impact side actually um you get to see uh you can see how it is and they usually just go for the enemy when they can 
and they just disregard your your commands until you call them back. At last, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiation of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back on my ship. Funny thing is, yeah. If you've been watching closely to the every time uh, Olimar blasts off, he doesn't have this canopy. He doesn't have like the little dome that is associated with his ship because it is one of the last parts of the Force of Hope. And you're not supposed to get it until you get Blue Pikmin. You can get it early if you want to sacrifice a couple of your yellows, let them drown with the bomb rock to deal with it. But other than that, it's just you're not supposed to grab this early. But with that, we're actually pretty much done with the entirety of the uh, Force of Hope. I can just use this time to uh, grind a bit, grind a bit more Pikmin, get more get my colors up for some other Pikmin. But I'm just not going to do that. If anything, I can actually do what I wanted to do as well. Which, yeah, let's do that. Radiation Canopy. I'll have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. I'll be, I'll be in even more... I'll be in for more, even more trouble if I had any radiation leak. I have now recovered 28 out of 30 ship parts. If I can just find one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. But yeah. With that, we are done. And, well, this is just going to be a double day recording, which I don't mind. Because with this done, we can just, we can just do something else. So, right now, it's like, we're like six minutes into this damn video. Nothing else interesting shows up. As soon as you collect every single ship part, you can go around, defeat all the enemies that are around here, grind up your Pikmin more. But I'm not going to do that. As you know, you can also you can hit the minus button to go back to what you were doing as a pause menu. Go back, like finish the day completely early, or you could just go back to a previous save. I'm just going to go to sunset because through my notes and some um, and some. Um, background and some like background chicken as well for uh from my notes we can do one thing tomorrow on the distant spring because tomorrow is the last day to do it so with that completely done yeah with that completely done let's go to the distant spring to show what i was always talking about in distant spring but i didn't feel like i had a chance to do it 14 days since impact. When I see the Pikmin engage in fierce battle with other creatures of this world, I often grow uneasy, wondering why they never attack me. Could it be that they actually view me as a parental figure? A strange, disturbing thought. It's an actual thought that most people have about Pikmin in general. Sixty-five. And apparently my reds went up. Oh no, my reds went up because uh how small the yellow and blue are. Funny. 65 sprouted today. I don't think I let the uh armored cannon beetle get up. But we're gonna be going back to the distant spring. Because if my notes are if my notes are true, and I feel like they are true. <laughs> something she still you know the little egg we saw back in the distant spring whenever we did this in like four days? By day 15 is the yeah, day 15 is the last day to bust open the uh the egg. So let's just go to the egg and have some fun. Yep, it's still there. Day 15 is the last day to have this egg show up. Any day after that, and it will just not it will just like despawn. So, just come up here with like at least 10 blues. Call all your pigmen back and go back to your onion. If this was Pikmin 2, the music would be blaring right now for a little mini boss thing. But that enemy that is coming to our base is the worst enemy in the entire game of Pikmin 1. The name of the enemy is the Smoky Prog. And the Smoky Prog is 
Just a Pikmin eater. Come on, guys, get out of the get out of the onion, get out of the onion, get out of the onion. Guys! Guys! So the smoky prog uh, is a malformed larva of another enemy we get to show in the next episode. What it does is that it just calls its uh it does a little roar near an onion to call any uprooted Pikmin to his side or just to kill him. What the Smoky Prog's uh, element is, is something that is in this in the beginning of Pikmin, but we cannot deal with it until the beginning of Pikmin 2. I'm actually going to use the overtop one for this one. So yeah, um, the, re uh, the Smoky Prog is poison elemented, and it just melts through your Pikmin. You're going to lose a lot of Pikmin to this, and if you're not careful, a whole platoon of 100 can be wiped out pretty effing easily. So, yeah, be very careful with this. Um, honestly, if the, the Smoky Prog was back, brought back in Pikmin 2, um, it would have been a lot easier to deal with them because white Pikmin are a type of Pikmin that are resilient to poison. We're almost done. And we're still losing a lot of Pikmin to this. But honestly, for me, how this, how the, what the Smoky Prog gives you is kind of worth it in a way for what you get. Also, what the fuck? None of them died. Defeat the Smoky Prog, and we get our treasure. This little golden nugget. I'm giving it to my reds because I'm going to need more reds than the rest of the Pikmin. But let's just put these away so you can see how much it gives. That golden ball that the Smoky Prog drops gives you exactly 100 Pikmin. And it is, in my opinion, way worth it. Even if you lose a bunch of Pikmin, if you lose a full platoon and you get it without sacrificing another platoon, you get a net worth of zero. But if you lose very few Pikmin, you at least get a boost of Pikmin to your repertoire. And if anything, it, 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 it is a thing. It's like a super boss in a way of Pikmin 1 because no other boss in this game can gulp down that many or destroy that many Pikmin than the uh, Smoky Prod. And I stated, um, the Smoky Prog is a malformed larva of a different enemy in a different area that we get to show tomorrow because since this, was a this was a double day recording. We got the final ship part in Forza Hope and we showed the uh, Smoky Prog. Tomorrow, we're going to be going back to the impact site to pick up the final ship part there and actually show the remaining two enemies we can fight. Let's just give Nyector to these yellows and we'll just end the day prematurely again. But yeah, the Smoky Prog is pretty fun to fight, but honestly, I'm very surprised that they never brought him back to other, other like Pikmin games. Would it have been too hard for like newer players to deal with? Kind of, but that's the whole, that's the whole point of like having a, uh, new people play an old game or having new people play with the challenge because it's just fun to see how people would deal with the smoky prod because usually how most people fight them they have the pikmin right there and uh you just see a bunch of souls and a bunch of ghosts of the pikmin like come out and this is like the one time i mean this is the one time you get to see like the whole uh rebirth of pikmin come back to uh to the ground because it always it always fights you the smoky prod always always fights you 
in your base. He always goes to your base to call up Pikmin near the ground to his side or just to kill them. So like anytime any Pikmin are lost, they're going to be here in this general triangle to deal with it. Oh, that we are done with uh, two days worth of uh, recording and exploration. Not as not as long as some other episodes, but more jam packed than other episodes. We defeated the we defeated another armored cannon beetle, got the final ship part in the Forest of Hope, came back to the distant spring, fought the smoky prog on the last day it could have showed up, and we just had fun. With that, we're going to end off today's episode. 15 days since impact. Smoky Prog, this hideous beast comes from a strange hard egg. Its mol mollusk-like body is wrapped within an unpleasant gas that suffocates any Pikmin that inhales it. Attacking your head is successful, but it's best to eliminate it in egg form. Yeah, you can actually beat the Smoky Prog in the egg. <laughs> if you have enough Pikmin, 100 blues, to go up and fight the egg, you can actually crack the egg before you fight the Smoky Prog. And it just mitigates the entire fight. But I wanted to show the Smoky Prog fight because it just seems more fulfilling to show you how it how it is. But with that out of the way, next time we're gonna next time on Pikmin, we're gonna be going back to the impact site to well get the final ship part there find two more enemies that are time exclusives and hopefully knowing where we have to go for our final ship part because all of these added up is 29 so hopefully next time we also get to see where we have to go for our final ship part thank you all for joining me today and hope you all have a wonderful day